we don't change a lot on the bike. That means we improve many small details and the chassis stiffness, uh, geometry a little bit. But the main change was more or less the rider position because um, in the last two years uh, some of the guys complain a little bit that uh, our bike is difficult to set up to find the, the proper setup. Um, there's not been a huge amount of change. Calix just work on a slow progress process of improvement. They've changed the manufacture process a little bit of the swing arm, um, just basically for longevity of parts. The frame really is very little difference, so a little bit of work on reducing the weight, especially for Scott, you know, with the new rule this year, um, with the like total bike and rider weight rule. So they've just done a little bit of work on that for us, but essentially it's it's very, very similar to last year's bike. The bike weight we have now, we are somewhere on the limit, it's around 138 uh, kilos. Uh, to make it again a little bit lighter it will, it will cost a lot more and on the other hand I don't think with the overall package of 200-210 uh, kilos bike and rider, um, one or two kilos don't change a lot. I think our advantage is quite the, the rear grip that we can achieve, especially in the dry conditions. In the mixed conditions we still have to improve something. In full wet we are okay, but I think it's the rear grip that gives uh, us a good acceleration out of the corners. We should really try to, to improve the, the, the general performance, but with the rear traction we have, I think we have a real advantage against the, the, our competitors. In the wet we still need to do a little bit of work. We're, for some reason we still struggle a wee bit in the wet compared with one or two of the other manufacturers, but I think we're starting to understand why now, and again I hope fairly shortly we'll see the results of that. The, for me, the stronger point is the traction for this bike at the moment. But we test only Valencia and uh, Jerez. I don't know in uh, every circuit uh, possible this is uh, the strong point. Very good chassis. Uh, you have a very good feeling in the, in the braking area and acceleration is a good bike. Yo creo que lo, el punto fuerte de la moto que tiene esta moto es For me, the strong points of the bike are when under braking and on corner entry. The weak point is acceleration. It still moves around a bit compared with the Calyx, which is more stable. We have uh, Nico Terol. Unfortunately, Tom Lute is uh, injured for the time. And um, there is uh, another few guys which, which can be very strong, like uh, Johan Sarko or... or um, Rodi Torres or uh, Dominic, Dominic Agata. Uh, everybody is here to, to get the championship, yeah. And uh, with Torres Bagaro, I think we have one guy who is really, really fast. Now Julian Simon swapped uh, on the Kalex, which will be a good contender. Scott Redding, Vika Kalio, uh, and so on, and so on, Nakagami. There's quite uh, some positive guys <laughs> on our bikes, yeah.